It's been a crazy week, really, just a crazy week through and through. What's your latest thinking on the market? I think the market is going to continue to be volatile. You're right, Brian. It's been a crazy week. You know, how much has happened in one week alone, two weeks alone here? Uh, I think, you know, the market is focused on a couple of things. Obviously, stimulus is very important here. So I think that's going to, at some point, really uh, factor in, in a big way. I think the election continues to be on investors' minds. But I think, again, you know, like I said before, um, you know, the Fed has put a lot of liquidity into the market, and I think there's nowhere else for money to go at this point. So I think we remain cautiously optimistic about the overall direction in the markets, at least intermediate and long term. Ariane, where, where are you putting most of your money to work at the moment? Is it in U.S. equities? Is it in large cap versus midsize and small companies? We are mostly extended into large U.S. equities. I think we've become very shy and really hedged against smaller U.S. and international emerging markets. We think there continue to be problems abroad, and the current climate is going to be difficult for a lot of these companies to weather out, especially with the uh, the uh, you know continued uncertainty. You know, COVID is not a six month period. It's we're looking until late next year before we even start to return, or at least they tell us we start to return to some sense of normalcy. So we think that these companies, the ones that really have not shown, uh, you know, being the kind of cornerstone type companies throughout different types of market cycles, especially challenging market cycles, are going to be challenged. And that's why we really look to large U.S. And then obviously fixed income, that remains very unattractive at this point, given this type of market. So we're really looking at, uh, you know, keeping that short and really just as a as a principal preservation play. All right, for those investors who've just had simply had enough of all this volatility, they're absolutely losing their minds. Where could they go to hide out uh, for some relative safety? Don't say cash. Uh, I'm hoping there's other places uh, that you guys are talking about right now. Yeah, that's that you, you put out a tough one, Brian, because really it's, it's a tough market to hide out from volatility. I, we have a lot of clients that are worried and, and call us with this question all the time. It's something that I talk to them about, you know, almost on a daily basis and, and really, you know, this is one of those things, you know, we, we talk about September, October being tough months and people get, you know, kind of uh, queasy with the, the volatility, especially today, given everything that's going on. And you, you have to trust in your strategy. It's not the time to make knee jerk reactions to try to move everything to cash. You know, like I said, fixed income is not giving you an edge right now. I, I really think that you need to really look longer term, not worry about the volatility today. You know, elections play out in the market. If you're worried about the election, if you're worried about other factors, these things typically play out a shorthand in the market. You know, obviously, depending on the direction of the larger economic picture based on policy and based on COVID, that presents challenges. But you have to think you're an investor, not a trader. Two, three years, five years from today, what do you think the picture looks like? And I'm sure it'll look better today and companies will be looking stronger than they look like today. What are you expecting from uh, this earnings season that's quickly going to be upon us? And have you made any moves, changes to the portfolio ahead of uh, earnings reports? We, we haven't really made many changes in our, uh, in our allocation based on what we think earnings are going to look like. I think it's going to be a mixed bag. I think the market is really dominated right now by a, a short name of, of companies. I think you're going to continue to see that trend play out. Uh, I think, you know, we talk about Q4 being a strong uh, quarter. So you have to look ahead to Q4. Obviously, this year looks very different than years past. But I still think we're going to see a bump here in Q4. Uh, jitters due to November, I think. But... Uh, you know, we're not really changing anything at the at the moment. Like I said, we're we're really positioned down. We're at a lower risk uh, um, spectrum of our of our portfolios. Looking at large U.S. and we're looking for opportunities to to bite into the market. So if any of these companies, any of these sectors in the market generally give us a, an attractive price point to buy in, we are ready to do that. We have cash on the side. We have short term fixed income, like I mentioned, so that we can start to extend back into the market. Let's say uh, we do have investors out there watching uh, that are inclined uh, to look longer term, three to five years out. Five years from today, uh, let's say we do have a Joe Biden presidency. How should they position their portfolios uh, today for that? Great question. Uh, you know, I, I think, you know, people really think that there's a titanic shift every time uh, administration comes. In. I mean, look at 2016. If you look back, the way people started to buy three sectors, the market, the Trump trade, thinking that things were really going to change. The market looks generally the same. The trends look 
overall the same. There's little changes, but you know, you really should be looking at companies that have strong fundamentals, parts of the market that are doing better. You know, tech is not going to change anytime from today to two, three years from now, five years from now. Obviously, if there is a Biden administration, you might see infrastructure actually start to take place and infrastructure trade could make sense. But, you know, we're not really going to say the the fundamental picture changes so much from today market wise and which kind of companies you want to be in today versus five years from today. You may have to do some different tax planning. But listen, that is not something that we can plan on today. You have to wait and actually get the data before you make any type of calculated changes.